chemistry with you and Gavin seems to really be there uh, early in the season. Just mm -hmm. how have you liked working with them, and, and how have you guys developed that so quickly? Yeah, I thought it's been great. Um, when I knew that he was going to be playing infield uh, this season in the summer, me and him started right away taking ground balls. Uh, so we've kind of always had like a good connection, knowing what each other like, like on certain plays when we turn double plays and stuff like that. So I think uh, it's been great. I mean, we, we get to work every single day and we're always getting after it and making sure we're making the most out of every single day and making sure we don't like leave the field thinking that we didn't do enough. So, I mean, we do everything that it takes to be as good as we can on the field on a daily basis. So I think it's been awesome. Jay was talking about some of the strikeouts you all have had over the last few games. Mm -hmm. um, you were sort of talking about just sort of the give and take that you need to make as a hitter. Do you mm -hmm. sort of agree with that? You know, generating more power might give up more swing and miss and, you know, letting pitches go. You're taking a bit of a risk for strikes, but at the end of the day, out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean, that was just our approach for, for those games. I think uh, everyone was bought in. I think you saw we struck out more than we probably wanted to, but we also walked more than we probably would have in a normal game. So I think it kind of just depends on the pitcher and the type of approach that we're having that, that day. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, we're just trying to score more runs than the other team, and it, it was able to work out on Tuesday. Back to Gavin for a second. Just mm -hmm. being a teammate and a friend of his, how, how satisfying is it to see him have the success that he's having? Oh, it's awesome. I love Gavin. He's been one of those guys for me ever since I was a freshman that I looked up to that, that always helped me out. So after last year, him having that injury and not really being able to play the whole season to see what he's been able to do to this to this point in the season, it's just it's awesome. I love being able to see him out there every single day, just having fun and just really making the most of every day. You and Dylan are roommates, right? Mm. I've mean, obviously seen him kind of handle you know, what you know, was probably his last year. Yeah. It's just, just, just a lot that you know, kind of comes with being a, a high-end draft pick, kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, I think the the best thing about him is that he doesn't change. He's the same person that he's been since the freshman year, since I've known him since we've been 15 years old. I mean, he just goes about his business the right way every single day, and you really don't – like, you don't see all that other side of stuff. Like, he kind of just lets it be how it is, and he does whatever he, he does every single day normally. So I, I think that's really cool. How is the infield adjusting? I mean, with mm -hmm. someone new at third, someone new at first, Gavin obviously kind of figuring out. How do you guys think – how do you think you guys have done so far this point? Uh, I think we've adjusted great. I think that during practices all throughout the fall and the early spring, we kind of like saw those type of things where guys were moving around positions just in case there were a time where guys needed to do that. and. It happened, and guys are prepared. So I think that just goes back to us being like the most prepared team that we can be. So we've already thought about situations that could possibly occur without them even occurring yet. So to be able to have that type of adjustability, it's just it's really awesome to see to, to see guys not miss a beat when they're thrown into that type of situation. Does it take a couple of weeks, a few games, for you personally sort of settle into hitting and seeing that live pitching and seeing different pitchers and trying to get your timing up to speed? Um. Yes and no. I feel like we we have a good amount of time when when we come back from the spring before the season starts. But obviously, like it's new, like facing a different team. Sometimes it does speed up. I, I know, like personally for me as a freshman and as a sophomore, it kind of sped up for me the first couple of games. But I think this year, being one of the older guys, I've kind of learned how to control myself and be more present in the box uh, earlier in the season. So I think that's just something that like comes with experience. With the, um, the new rules with the pitching speed, I mean, how has that been adjusting as a batter? You know, when you pretty much you gotta get right back in the yeah. box right away. How has that been for you and for you guys as a whole? Um, I mean, it definitely takes a little bit to get used to. I know that I'm definitely a guy that likes to take a little bit longer getting in and out of the box. I know a couple guys on our team have been called out for it already this year. Um, I mean, it's just one of those things that we have to get used to. I know uh, a couple guys just started not really stepping out of the box, if that's what it has to do when. There's a situation where we're not really looking for anything, but I mean, it's you just got to be conscious of it. I know it's I don't know, it's just kind of tough. You just got to be in there before 10 seconds starts. So I don't know. What are your personal opinions on that? Do you mm -hmm. like it? Do you think um, it's good for the game? I don't know. I, I just I I'd hate to see like late in the game like how Jared Jones got called out in the eighth inning just because there was 10 seconds and he wasn't in, in the box. So, I mean, in that sense, it kind of – you don't like to see that. But, I mean, if people think it's going to speed up the game, then I yeah. guess. But, I mean, we're trying to win the game, do whatever it takes. So, I mean, it's just one of those things you just got to adjust to. Have you guys been able to practice it? How, how do you practice it? If you can do 
Uh, our first couple of, like scrimmages out here before the season started, we had a, the clock going, and they would call strikes on us or call us out, and we weren't happy about it. But I think guys started to get more adjusted to it. So I think as the season goes on, guys will, I mean, be able to do it without really thinking about it. But I think for the first couple of weeks as we continue, there might be a little bit of a like adjustment period still. So. Do you guys talk about it in the locker room, like? this is annoying or this is how we have to adjust to it or any of that sort of stuff? I don't think we really talk about it in the locker room. I think it's just when it happens. And it's like, dang, we didn't even realize it. Cause it I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest. When I go in there, I'm not always thinking about the clock. I'm thinking about like what I need to do to reset for the next pitch to be ready to hit instead of 10, 9, 8, 7. Like, Getting ready exactly, yeah, I'm ready to hit 98 with the slider and not <laughs> get in the box before there's 10 seconds on the clock. But it is what it is. Did you adjust your routine? I mean, gloves and uh, I, I mean, I just try to be a little bit quicker. That's all it is, yeah. Uh, Jay said that Brady's growth since he's mm. even been on campus or even since January 15th yeah. has been immeasurable. I mean, just what, is there something in the infield that you can see when, mm. when that growth has happened? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it speaks volume, just the character of him, the way that, that he's been able to, to adjust to the game. I think early in the fall you could see sometimes where the game was sped up and then you see now where it's like, it looks like he's been here for three years and knows exactly what he's doing. So it's just really awesome to see. Like behind the plate, he's one of the best catchers that I've seen. He blocks all the balls and he gets the throw down. And in the box, he really is a mature hitter. I mean, he doesn't swing at balls and he crushes mistakes. So, I mean, it's just really awesome to see the development that he's had. I mean, he's only 18 years old. He came in here at 17 years old. So it's like he's playing like he's 20, 21 years old. It's just really awesome. He talks a lot of crap. At least when I'm here. <laughs> important is that to kind of fit in and feel like you fit in, I guess? No, yeah, it's really important. I think everyone has that type of comfortability in the team. I don't think anyone feels like they can't say anything to anyone in that way. So I think it's just really awesome, the type of chemistry that we all have to where, you know, young guys don't feel like the young guys. They feel like they're part of the team. And that's the type of the culture that we're trying to build, where everyone has, like, their place on the team and everyone, like, feels involved. Uh, just the road trip in itself, how mm. good was that for y'all's experience? Jay said he thought he faced three major leaguers, so mm. to see that early, you know, and, and, and get that in early, I guess, how important is that kind of pushing forward? Mm. No, I think it was definitely important, especially being on the road. I think when we were at Texas, it kind of felt like we were in a regional game. Like, that's how it felt to all of the players, just the way it was back and forth. It was a pitcher's duel, you know, like you're fighting to get guys on, fighting to get guys in. And those type of environments to be created this early, it's it's really good to to see like how we react in those situations, knowing that okay, like when it gets tough, we know that we can be tougher and stuff like that. So I think it's a huge benefit for us to be able to do that, especially on the road in those type of games. So yeah, we were really excited to be able to be out there. Thank you, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Good job, Jordan.